Hey there, football manager fans. Hey there, Celtic fans. We're back. Oh, it's taken a while. Um, it's about quarter to eight at night, and I started this save around nine o'clock this morning um, <laughs> to get back to where we were uh, in the previous save before my computer went completely corrupt. Uh, <laughs> so, what I've done is I've been able to go and uh, sign quite a lot of the players who were with us um, in the first um, save um, and I've managed to be able to bring them back into the second save um, we got O'Donnell, McKenna, Finley, Miranda um, Christy, Forrest and Keane and Semper um, Johnston, Bowen, Taylor uh, Marciano, Ayer and Bain are all still there but we've got a couple of new players, Alexander Isaac, uh, a striker. We've got Mohamed Hayataran. I'm just going to call him Mohamed. Uh, and we've got Angel Gomez, Angel Gomez on the left wing, there he is. And a midfielder called Florentino Luis. Um, so there's quite a few other players as well because I've had to build up the squad. Um, and frankly... Um, I've let a lot of players go. Like a serious lot of players go. Uh, so this is our European qualifying game with SJK. Uh, I think they're from Finland. And uh, yeah, we have just had a goal. Hang on. Woo! Ingo Gomez just scored that. And in my rush to do two seasons in one day <laughs> um, unfortunately uh, just paid the price for that so there we go let's see let's bring it back uh, to the goal so Miranda on the left hand side as normal Florentino Luis out to Stephen O'Donnell he shoots oh Ingo Gomez Angel Gomez gets the rebound after the keeper fluffed his lines. There you go. And, oh, Christy puts one in, but unfortunately, couldn't make the most of that. Is Gomez putting one in. Finley heading it over. Christy. Oh, McKenna with the header. Scott McKenna, first goal of the season. 2-0 for Celtic. Boys are back on the run. Back in town. Kicking ass, taking names. Christy whips one. Oh, Miranda at the back post. Juan Miranda, you beast. Dear me. Doing pretty well. Juan Miranda to the Christie. Miranda floats one to the right wing for Forrest. He finds O'Donnell's made a run on the outside of him. Oh, and he puts it right at the head of Ryan Christie. Who gets his first goal of the season. 4-0. So it's our first game in anger, really. And uh, we're doing pretty well. Here they are. Saitanen for Hyenan. Helen, tackled by Forrest. Look at those little legs go. He's fast, he's Forrest. Oh, sends it over for Gomez. Right footed. It's his second goal of the game. Second one of the season. Angel Gomez has left Man United on a free transfer out of contract. We've snapped him up. He's got two goals for us today. So. We'll have a little look at Angel Gomez's uh, attributes. He has 16 dribbling, 20 flair, 17 acceleration. Uh, he looks pretty good. Pretty decent. I had to run in midfield looking for Gomez. Moyes Keane picks it up, shoots. Oh, what a goal. What a finish. 6 0 by half time. <laughs> we are frightening. 
It's not as though I've gone out and signed Ronaldo and Messi and Dybala or anything. We've we've gone and got basically oh Keane with a seventh. The same players we had last year. Uh, I just think SJK are a bit crap in the game. <laughs> it's not going to be like this against Rangers. It'll be be a bit closer, I think. Let's hope it's like this, but it's uh, it's probably going to be a bit of a closer game. Oh, boys, you play very well indeed. Keep up the good work. Look at that. All that green. Celtic green. And Yano Pyronen's picked up a yellow card for them. As Miranda takes the throw and gives it to Hatteran. Miranda plays it down the line for Gomez. Oh, he was in the channel but couldn't shoot past Streng, the keeper. And the players are looking very, very confident indeed. Except for my keeper who's quite complacent. As he would be if you're winning 7-0 and they've not had a single shot on goal. Um, <laughs> he's probably smoking a fag. <laughs> uh, Ayataran. The Forest. Ah, oh, terrible shot. Yeah, he might as well break out the wacky backy. <laughs> Never mind have a fag. Sit there all day, and I don't, I don't think he's going to do anything. Here's Miranda, though, doing all the leg work down the left. Skips past the challenge, cuts inside another one, crosses for Keane. That's his hat trick. Oh, one Miranda, you beautiful, beautiful beast. Setting up Moyes Keane for his hat trick and his eighth goal uh, of the game. Our eighth goal of the game, I should say. Um, I think we'll bring on Isaac. Let's have a little look at Isaac, because I've not seen him play yet before. Um, so let's bring off Keane, who's done really well. Um, let's see. We do need to get Mikey Johnson a game. So let's bring off Gomez. And Bowen needs to get a game as well. So let's bring off Forrest. Oof. Wouldn't want to be them right now. Here we go. Boeing putting one in. Florentino trying to get his head to it. Isaac. Oh, he's off. How is he offside? How is Alexander Isaac offside? He shot from the 18 yard box. Oh, dear me. Oh, it goes all the way through to the keeper, Adrian Semper. A Croatian keeper was signed in the last save. Because we let Fraser Force to go back to Southampton. He was only on loan to us last year. Bowen plays it down the line for Isaac. He's kept it in. O'Donnell whips one in. Oh, Ayataran heads it over. Uh, I did manage to sign Jordan Larson again. And Isaac is his Swedish compatriot. Right as Ryan Christie goes down the line. For taking a few players on, Mikey Johnston crosses. Jared Bowen gets in on the act as well. Gets his first goal, nine nil. Still the uh, the second leg to play at their place. Um, <laughs> oh boy, Bowen. Oh, Finley heads it wide. Yes, yeah, so Isaac's also a um, youth international, or senior international actually. Eighteen caps, eight goals. Um, let's have a little look at him uh, 16 pace jumping reach and acceleration 14 penalty taking technique vision first touch finishing dribbling agility um, he's just 20 year old wonder kid you know just as you do picked him up um, and said right you're good enough to play for Celtic mate uh, let's be having you and uh, there we go. There's the first leg over and done with. So Celtic on cloud nine. There you go. Um, Gomez makes an immediate impact. Classy Keen on form. Let's praise him. And Steve Clark. Looking at a few of the Scottish players we've got. So squad looks pretty thin doesn't it 
and then we uh, <laughs> we show the players that are available once uh, once we can. Yeah, there's a few players on international duty, uh, a few that are unregistered. Um, definitely need to register a few players. Um, let's have a little look. Clear the entire team squad. So our keepers. O for Marciano is leaving us. So that'll save a few grand on the wage bill and bring in a few quid. Uh, he doesn't want to be here because he can't get a work permit because of Brexit. So that leaves us... Um, so he might as well just go into the reserves. So that leaves us Semper. Um, Adrian Semper, if you remember the Croat 22-year-old keeper. Took a bit of a punt on. Six foot four. Really good attributes. Ross Durin. Uh, 22, Scottish, um, come through our system, I think. Scotty Bain, also Scottish keeper. Um, we may end up playing Scotty Bain over Semper and just allow uh, Semper to um, basically get better. Um, so Scotty Bain may be our number one keeper. Um, Centre-halves, we have McKenna, Porteous, Julian, uh, Finley, and Ayer. So we got five centre halves. Uh, right backs, we got O'Donnell and Fredericks, Ryan Fredericks. Um, if you remember, a really quick player we got from West Ham uh, last uh, in the last save. Left backs, we got Juan Miranda and Greg Taylor. Um, so Juan Miranda's our, our left back normally. Uh, Julian is one of our centre halves, along with. Um, Ayer and our right back's normally Stephen O'Donnell um, now midfield we already had Grimeres, Tanali, Camavinga and Zakaria um, an offer's come in for Cham which I accepted um, so Brown had already left and McGregor had already left so I've brought in two central midfield players in Western Kenny Weston McKenney, sorry, uh, an American um, who is a tenacious defensive midfield player, 21 year old, again going after some of the younger players, Florentino Luis, um, again defensive midfield player, really good quality signing he is, tackling 17, positioning teamwork and anticipation 17, and listen to this, on 16, Work rate, determination, concentration, composure, agility, and stamina. With an 18 natural fitness. This kid is going to be dynamite for us. Um, so yeah, we've got some um, defensive midfield players. I'm going to try and let Eduardo Camavinga go out on loan. Help his progression. He had a full season with us, with us last year. He did improve. Um, but he could do it some game time out on loan. Um, I did bring in a Hatteran uh, as a number 10. Um, so hopefully he'll get a few games as a number 10. Uh, we also had uh, Thiago Amara as a number 10 as well. Uh, he came in. Um, our strikers, we got Moise Keane, who we signed in the last save. Jordan Larson, also in the last save. The new lad, Alexander Isaac. I've got big hopes for him. Um, 16 pace, jumping reach and acceleration. 14 dribbling, finishing first touch and technique. And vision, so he should be good. Odds and Edouard. He keeps telling us he wants to leave the club. If he does, I want one of these lads to step forward and take his place. But um, hopefully he stays. Um... Ryan Christie, again, can operate as a number 10, but we'll wait and see. Um, he made noises about leaving last year, I think, as did James Forrest, but Forrester stayed. Um, right wing, we got Forrest and Jared Bowen. Left wing, we got Angel Gomez and Mikey Johnston. So we're pretty balanced. Um, two two full back, two right backs, two left backs, two left wingers, two right wingers. Uh, we'll have five midfielders, five centre-halves, um, and 
five strikers um, with three keepers. So we are pretty balanced. And I think that should be a good sized squad uh, to go through uh, the season with. Reserve squad. Um, got a lot of players here. We'll be going out on loan like Ralston, O'Connor, Frimpong, um, Connell, Schved, who I thought was brilliant for us in the last save. Uh, Berengstier, I've lost some of the Brazilian lads we signed um, a couple of seasons back. I couldn't remember their names or find them in the game. Uh, Karimoko Dembele, he's progressing in the under-18s. That sulky face of his, he just, he, he needs to smile. Uh, he just always looks sulky. So we've got quite a few youth players there. And all of them are 17 or under, except for this guy, Chris McQueen, who is an 18 year old centre back who's only 5 foot 7. Ugh. I think he needs to train as a left back, I think. Um. Yeah, so Armstrong, Oko, Flex, I think we'll be going out on loan. Um, ah, I've just moved him into a senior squad by accident. He should be in the reserves. Um, there we go. Yeah, so this, this squad will thin out with um, Ryan Christie possibly moving on. Um, Olivier Sham definitely moving on. Um, Alpha Marciano moving on. So, we're definitely going to thin the squad out. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to play SJK again and have another game and see if we can spank them more than 9 0. Okay, guys, so for the second leg, we've got Bain in goal, O'Donnell, McKenna, Finley, and Taylor. Across the back. That's an entirely Scottish defence right there. Uh, Tonali and Bruno Grimares in midfield. And then we got Bowen, Christie and Johnston playing behind Larson. So there's just Tonali, Grimares and Larson who are foreign players in that starting eleven. Um, on the bench we got Doohan, Scottish keeper. Uh, Aya, Miranda, Florentino, Forrest, Gomez and Keane. So, we're going pretty strong, people. Pretty damn strong. Um, and it's only because we have very few players to actually choose from who are registered as well. So, uh, yeah, kind of important um, that we get a few players back from injury and international duty so we can start picking up uh, some players for the uh, match selection. Uh, Patrick Clamella, a young striker, has gone on loan. Um, hopefully he'll do really well. He's already at the club, been at the club for a while. Uh, he's gone to Porto Monense in Portugal. So let's see if he can go smash some goals then in Portugal. Should be good for his confidence. Uh, so this is the second leg away from here, away from home, and uh, nine nil. I think we won the first first leg. So. Let's crack on with a second leg. All these players need match fitness as well. So we're going to go, go with a 4-2-3-1 formation. Jordan Larson. What do we reckon? Hat-trick? Will he get hat-trick? I don't know. Let's have a little look. Olivier Sham went to China. He took the money. He took the money and ran. 10.5 million we got for him. Uh, Marciano. I, I think he's left. For about 800 grand. Who knows where he's gone. Um, but yeah. We. Uh, I think. You know. We're, we're doing pretty well. Right. I think we'll just replay the goals. And. Clear cut chances. Tight off sides. Yeah, I think we're good with that. Oh, moving the ball really well there. Ryan Christie going on a run. He's through. Oh, smashes one. Ryan Maradona Christie right there. Oh, my word. Look at this. Picks up in his own half. Just goes full Ryan Giggs versus Arsenal. Boom. 
didn't take his shirt off though and show his hairy chest did he oh he thought about it but no nah, he's, he's kept it on good lad no one needs to see that <laughs> 10 nil on aggregate so i think what i'm gonna do just gonna praise the lads ah they're all fired up by that you see they were getting a bit complacent there and just said hey lads keep going well done and they got complacent anyway so one nil bit different this game isn't it compared to the first one i think we were seven nil up or something daft anyway their keeper finds henriksen who looks for Vyronen. he gets it back from helen oh taylor clears it greg taylor mopping up there at the back Got a nice burger bar over there. Nice nice stadium with blacked out seats. Jared Bowen puts his foot on it. Sends it back to the keeper for some reason. Let's see. Uh, replay events. We don't need to see. Let's just go with offsides and goals. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Oh, Jordan Larson. Let's have a look at the replay because I fluffed that one up, didn't I? Here's Sandro Tonali putting one in. Jordan Larson, free as a bird. With a header. So that's his first goal of the season. Boys, let's get a bit creative. Oh, a few inspired by the feedback. Not as money as uh, when I praised them, though. Um, so let's bring... Um, let's see. Let's bring Angel Gomez on in the middle for Christy. Left back, let's bring on Miranda because Taylor looks knackered and he's been booked. And let's bring on Aya for... McKenna because he's also been booked. We don't need him picking up any any silly second bookings and ruling him out of the next game. So we're going to try and go as far as we can in Europe. So it's 11-0 on aggregate. 2-0 away from home. Here's Gomez going through the middle. Ah, oh, brings a save from Streng. It's so well. Bowen whips one in. Oh, good clearance. Right up top to Irons. Is that Billy Irons? Oh, he's fouled by Miranda. Oh, dear. Let me just see. Is that Billy Irons? He's English. Well, he's finished now, but trust me, he's English. He was born in England. I think the North East he was born. And he... here's, here's some football knowledge right now. He went to Iceland and played in Iceland and ended up in Finland uh, via a little tour of Scandinavia. Um, and he's one of those players like Gary Martin who went to the Faroes in Iceland. Um, yeah, so there's a few few British players out there in Scandinavia. Oh, Mikey Johnston with a finish from Sandro Tonali's whipped in cross. 3-0. Look at this, O'Donnell giving it to Nally. Whips one in. Good finish. Mikey Johnston's coming along. If we can develop him, I think Scotland could have a good left winger with him. 67% of possession, 25 shots, 14 on target. Let's go to the dressing room. Did well, boys. Well done. Uh, Tonali got a couple of assists. Mikey Johnston got one. Um, Larson only got one goal. I thought he could have got two, but scores on his Celtic debut. <laughs> I have brought him back to the club, so it's uh, yeah, it's a bit of a uh, one of those. Anyhow, swiftly moving on. I don't want to think about the last save we did. It's too bloody depressing. <laughs> 
cost me a new computer and everything. Right, so positivity this year is the key. We're all going to be positive. We're all going to be happy, happy, happy. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, everything will be cool. Um, we definitely, I think, are going to have a good season. I'm pretty confident about that. Because we've got such a young squad um, that when I look at the players... Um, Kamavinga, Ayataran, Almara, Gomez, Tonali, Keane, Miranda, Isaac, Luis, um, Johnston, Porteous, Ralston, McKinney. They're all 21 and under. That's like half the squad. And then you got Aya, Dewan, Edward, Semper, Gamarez, and Taylor, 22. Um, and then McKenna, Zachariah, Brown, Larson. Um, they're all 23. So most of the squad is 23 and under. Um, there's only one, two, three, seven players over the age of 23. Um, one of them's 24. <laughs> uh, yeah, eldest player is James Forrest. He's 29 and eight days old. There you go. Uh, and then Scotty Bain will be 29 soon. Um, so, yeah. Th this squad is so young uh, compared to the, the one we found. So, I'm hoping this squad can actually do maybe um, a good 10 seasons. So, my plan is... Here's, here's the plan. Now, we've got a couple of games out of the way. Uh, I'm going to give this team... Ritterai, whoever they are, a good ass kicking. Um, my plan is to do two games in each month and do one game, uh, one video every day. So in a fortnight, it should be a full season. So that will easily take us 10, 20 years into the future with Celtic. In a nice big long save before FM21 comes out in November. So stick with us. Hopefully we can do a couple of seasons every month. Um, and get at least a dozen seasons in, maybe more. And uh, yeah, thanks again for all your support. It's been brilliant, honestly. It's been massive. You guys have honestly been a big, big factor in me spending the money i've spent to come back and carry on making videos so thank you very very much for that and i will see you all in the next one take care of yourself god bless thanks very much for all your support again and i'll see you soon bye now